Hey, I'm gonna show you how to make bullet spread guns for your top-down twin-stick shooters, inspired by stuff in Enter the Gungeon and Nuclear Throne. With this method, you can adjust your gun's spread arc, bullet count, fire rate and bullet type, so you can really go crazy and spread some delicious mayhem all over those thirsty enemies. Let's go though. Okay, so this will require only a single script, which is going to be called gun.gd. It extends node 2D and we're gonna write class name gun. We're gonna export a few things, first of which is going to be var bullet of type packed scene. This is going to be the bullet scene we're going to instantiate anytime our gun shoots. And as I save this script notice, on the right side in the inspector you can see the bullet field appearing. Next we're gonna export var bullet count of type int which is going to default to 1. We're gonna write at export underscore range and in parentheses 0, 0,360 to limit our variable to only take the values between 0 and 360. And we're gonna write var arc of type float and it's going to default to 0. This is the spread arc of our bullets. And you can see on the right in the inspector now I have this slider which I can drag around to adjust the arc's value between 0 and 360 degrees. We're gonna do one more at export range, this time between 0 and 20 or var fire rate of type float, which will default to 2.0. Fire rate is expressed in how many bursts of bullets the gun fires per second, so I don't think there's a need to go about 20, but I mean, that's up to you. Let's add one more non-exported variable, which is going to be called can shoot, and it's going to be set to true. Let's make our one and only function we need, which is going to be called shoot, and immediately let's check if can shoot is true. In which case we're gonna set can shoot to false. Now we're going to write our logic for spawning our bullets in the right place and in the right direction. So let's loop through bullet count by writing for i in bullet count. Let's create a new bullet by writing var new bullet equals bullet dot instantiate. We're gonna set new bullet dot position equals global position so it starts at the gun's position. Let's transform the arc from degrees to radians by writing var arc red equals deg to red and passing in the arc. Now it's time to calculate the rotation of our bullets, which is going to take some math, but I'll explain as we go. First we need to get the increment, which is basically going to be the difference between the rotations of each bullet. So we're gonna write var increment equals arc red over bullet count minus 1. Take note that bullet count minus 1 is in parentheses. Now that we have the increment we can start calculating the global rotation. And since this is a longer equation I'm going to write the parentheses here and go into a new line. So we're gonna start with global rotation of course, this is the rotation of the gun. We're going to add our increment times i, which is the index of the bullet, minus arc red over 2. So this will spread the rotations neatly for each of our bullets across the arc we specified. So if we only have one bullet, it's going to be in the middle. And as we add more, you can see what happens. Now all that's left to do is add the bullet into the game. So we'll call get tree dot root dot call deferred in quotation marks add child comma new bullet. And that's it for spawning bullets, but now let's finish this function by adding the fire rate functionality. I'm tabbing out one space, so now I'm outside of the for loop, and I'm gonna write await get three dot create timer one over fire rate dot timeout. This will create a timer to keep track of the cooldown of the fire rate, and after it we can just write can shoot equals true to enable the gun to shoot again. Real quick, I'm just gonna show you what a bullet scene might look like. This is a very simple example. So the bullet is a character body 2D, it has only a sprite and a collision shape. One thing you have to make sure to do is configure the bullet's collision layer and mask, so it doesn't collide with other bullets. As you can see here, my bullet doesn't exist on any layer, but the mask is set to world. Let's check the script. It has some speed defined and a direction which starts at vector2.right. In the ready function the direction is calculated to be vector2.right.rotated by global rotation. And we use vector2.right because when the global rotation is zero, we expect it to go straight to the right. We calculate velocity to be direction times speed, 
and we call move and collide passing in the velocity and we store the collision we get back from it. Then we check if collision happened, in which case we Q3 the bullet. Now let's see how it all looks. With two bullets, three bullets, four bullets, let's try one bullet. Oh, oh it's not working. I try to fire it but nothing happens. Maybe some of you already noticed the error and if you did, good job, you're smarter than me. But there's a division by zero lurking on this line in the case when bullet count is one. Ok, but in the case of only one bullet, we don't even need all this rotation calculation. We can just put an if bullet count is 1 and set new bullet's rotation to global rotation. Then write else and put these calculations in there. Ok, now this works well, but there's one more thing we can do to take this to the next level. And that is making the bullet spawn at the barrel of the gun instead of in the middle of it. For this, we'll add another add export var barrel origin of type node 2D. This will allow us to pick any node 2D node or any node that inherits from a node 2D and use its position as the spawn position of our bullets. And where we set new bullets position, we're gonna change it to say barrel origin dot global position if barrel origin is set, else global position, the default position of our gun. And now it's time to showcase some interesting guns I came up with while playing with this system. Starting with Inferno Blaze 125. Bubble Blaster 360. And the Catling Gun. Let me know what kind of creative gun ideas you came up with and if you want a tutorial on these unique bullets do let me know in the comments. If you like this video and want to take your Godot game even further, check out this playlist of similar Godot videos. And thank you for watching.